All right, uh, Shalom. Uh, before I start, let me give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachach Kodash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the like Akim, Wak Watim, learning and teaching the truth and in sincerity. This is going to be another uh, video through the Spirit. I was doing some meditating on it, <laughs> and a specific uh, phrase, you know, uh, had came to mind, but, you know, I warped it. All right, I reshaped it into a, 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 a spiritual angle, all right? And so basically, which something is how I'm probably going to title of the video, uh, something along the lines of make uh, uh, Yahweh proud again, all right? Make Yahweh Shai's life <laughs> easy again, you know? And what I mean by that is that right now, the state that the nation of Israel is in, the Heavenly Father's pissed off at them. All right, in the state that Yahushai, you know, he had to go through everything that he went through, and we understand that it was all for uh, prophecy's sake. But you know, us, our nation, the Israelites, are fucking up our wickedness, our uh, you know, disobeying of the commandments, is what got the heavenly Father, you know, angry at us, and what caused Yahushai Hamashiach to have to go up and die for our sins. So what we should be trying to do is. The fact that Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, being our, you know, our power, our Father, quite literally, uh, let's make Him proud of us again, all right? And I'm stealing that from these damn Edomites. They're having the term, make America great again, you know, MAGA, them damn hats. Hey, us, the Israelites, we're going to make Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai proud again, all right? How about that? All right, God damn it. All right, so we're just going to get some, uh, <laughs> we're just going to get some, uh, Scriptures, kind of right, and I got this. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 1. I'm going to start at verse 18. It says, Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. So, you know, hey, hey come, you know, come reason, all right? So that our wickedness, our blatant, an obvious and obnoxious evil that is bred in us can be washed away. All right. In other words, you know, this is basically this is giving similitudes. This is parabolic talk because the Israelites were not literally the Israelites aren't actually red. All right, and they're not actually uh, 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 going to be covered in wool. This is you know parabolic talk for you scoffers. All right. Verse nineteen: If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, Ye shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. Con. So if you do good, you know, hey, it's, hey. The Heavenly Father, He's going to take care of you. Just like your actual father. If you're, if you're always doing what your father tells you, even in certain situations when you might not want to, your father's going to, uh, your, your father will, you know, if you, or whatever man is in your life that may have raised you, or whomever, you know, whatever guardian. If you're always doing what they told you, you know, they're going to take pride in you. They're going to uh, have a lot of affection and love for you. In which I'm going to have to get a certain uh, parable, you know, for this video. Because you can fuck up and mess up bad. But if you come back and truly repent and you get back on that right track, you know, all that, that wickedness can be erased. And that's basically the point of this video. You know, come in which, hey, the brothers and sisters that may be listening, you know, we've already, Lord willing, turned our leaf and we stay on the track. But if there's any new ones that come across, any newlings, hey, turn from your BS in the world, all right, come back uh, to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, kind of right, uh, got this right here, Deuteronomy chapter 17, it says, but if thine heart turn away, so that thou wilt not hear, but shall be drawn away, and worship other gods, and serve them, I denounce unto you this day, that ye shall surely perish, and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land, whither thou passest over Jordan to go to possess it. So this is what the Heavenly Father told us. And then look at how we are. You know, he said he'll turn his back and see what our end shall be and our end without uh, the magnificent uh, providence of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai at every second and at every turn. We're destitute and we're destroyed. All right. So, you know, hey, 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 do what you, hey, read, study, you know, pray, do the things in which the Heavenly Father and His Son uh, have delight in, and not the things, 
you know, of the flesh. Because always following the flesh, hey, will lead to pure destruction. And it will be, if it wasn't for the Heavenly Father, because in His mercy is so great that He eventually, you know, here soon, starting with the election of one-third, He's just going to, uh, he's going to take that wicked root out of us and put a, a righteous fleshly root in us to where we'll be physically incapable of sin. You know, that's how much he loves us. He knows that we're a bunch of fuck ups. So he's just going to delete that programming uh, within us. But, you know, as of right now on this side, while we still have, while we're still being tempted with temptation, you know, tr try to fight, hey, fight the good fight of faith. You know, try to make the Heavenly Father and His Son proud as much as possible. All right, so we can, you know, because ultimately it's all predestination. But, you know, hey, this don't, this place, don't be like the rest of the Jake in the world. You know, just being wicked and stupid and evil. Making it, you know, our people are so wicked that it's, it's almost, to these heathens, it's, it's impossible to believe that we're chosen or that we're proper and upright. Why? Because of all the things that we do. All right, so that's why it's, and the things that we do falls upon the Heavenly Father and His Son. You know, that's why people have such a hard time believing that we're the Israelites. Because you go to the ghetto and you see a nigga with his shirt off on the porch with a blunt in his mouth with his pants half down. You know, yelling at his baby mama that's pregnant with four kids in the house saying, you know, get, just, oh shit, man, let me just keep reading this. <laughs> Y'all think I'm joking, man. I'm, man, hey, Deuteronomy 30 and 19. It says, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life uh, that thou and thy seed may live, that thou mayest love the Lord thy power, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and that thou mayest cleave unto him. For he is thy life and the length of thy days that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord sware unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. So that's basically what it's about. Do that in which Yahweh Bashem Yahushai uh, commanded of us, so he'll keep us, all right? Without, hey, he's the one that has that hedge. When you go back and read in Job, uh, Job was living the, living the good lie. Nah, uh, that, that song go, I ain't trying to talk to you <laughs> Living my best, hey, Job was living his best life, you know, all that, uh, <laughs> all that shit, man. But what happened? You know, not even for wickedness, but the Heavenly Father simply decided to remove the hedge in which was about him. And as of right now, us, for the most part, the Israelites, we have the hedge uh, taken off of us. All right, now we, I'll say the, the, I'll say the, the hundred percent hedge because we have a you know we have a minor hedge on us you know certain things that happen to niggas in the world just simply don't happen to us you know the heavenly father through his son Yahweh shai blesses us here and there you know the angels will protect you from this or put you in a certain situation to where you'll be able to benefit but compared to the the hedge that the heavenly father used to have around us to where seven would run out uh from one of us all right and to where we put ten thousand to flight we just don't have that right now but through turning back, through following uh, the sheep that he sent us, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, that's how we'll regain that hedge. All right, Job 1, chapter 10, it says, this is Satan talking to the Most High. It says, Has not thou made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he hath on every side, that thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increased in the land? Khan, so the Heavenly Father through his son now, Yahweh Shai. Hey, because Yahweh Shai ultimately has to be pleasing you. That's how you get that hedge nowadays. Uh, nowadays, and I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to actually. Um, get that. Let me see. Let me get that because whoever Yahweh Shai says is okay, is a good man, you know, is worthy. That's who. The Heavenly Father is going to pr protect whoever his son deems, you know, good. You know, so, hey, make Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai proud again. All right. Ooh, perfect. Okay, I got this one. Matter of fact, I'm going to read this now. Uh, then I'll go back to this one that I have. Okay, this is John 16. Okay, now this is math. Just to prove the point that I, the statement that I said. You have to be approved of the son first. This is Matthew chapter 11, verse... Uh, 
verse 27, All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father, neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. So the only way you get approved of the Most High is if you're appro approved of Yahweh Shai first. So in essence, uh, you have to... Uh, be approved of Yahweh Shai. So you gotta make some, hey, you gotta make somebody proud, god damn it. Alright. <laughs> hey, so and do the things and what are the things that Yahweh Shai said? You know, love thy neighbor, uh love the heavenly father with all your uh mind, body, and soul, which would entail what? If you're a man right now and you're able body, you'd be going out, you'd be prophesying this word, all right, you'd be doing what you have to do for the brotherhood when you like it or not. Alright, when times is hard, you might have to come up out your pocket, you may have to come up out your time about your sleep, all right, those are ways that you make Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai proud, standing up for righteousness, all right, standing up against the scoffers, all right, out at camp, uh, believing in, in the, the, the harshness of this truth, even if your fam, friends and family turn on you, all right, that is how you become one uh, in which Yahweh Shai will reveal to the Father, all right, he'll, he'll, Hey, that's how the elect will be the ones that he shed his blood for. Why? Because the elect and the one-third believe on him and follow him whithersoever he goeth. All right. So let me see. This is a... Uh, this is... Uh, uh, I could get that John 16. Let me double check it. John 16... Uh, Con, you know, I'll just keep you going. I'm going to get this other one instead. 2 Corinthians, I uh, believe, chapter 6. Con, perfect. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, perfect. 2 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 16. It says, And what agreement hath the temple of the Most High Power with idols? For ye are the temple of the living power, as the Most High Power saith. I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their power, and they shall be my people. And this is what the Heavenly Father is saying of us. All right. Event, this is going to be the kingdom. Hey, we're not going to have to, uh, uh, you know, like when Moses had to put the veil on his head, you know, because he was giving, he was shining because all that wisdom, you know, all the, the his presence, him being in the presence of the Heavenly Father. It was too much for the rest of Jake. We're not going to have to do that anymore. The heaven, hey, we're going to be ex uh, accepted. All right. He's going to be walking amongst us, meaning what? We're going to be uh, back perfect. We're not going to have to, uh, hey, we're not going to be in this wicked, sinful flesh anymore. All right. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 6 and 17. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Alright, so don't give in to idolatry. Don't give in to the BS of this world. Alright, be ye separate. Be ye holy. Be Kodash. Verse 18. And will uh, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. So if you do these things, hey, you'll be approved of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You'll be worthy of being called a son or a daughter again. And that's the whole point of this. Alright, hey, look. The spiritual power is cool and all. You know, having wise is cool and all. Castles, you know, pay back on the heathens. Hey, cool, whatever. That's just extra little benefits. The main thing that everyone should be striving for above all, in which Shai said it himself. Let me get it. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a plain, it's, a, it's just a straight up statement. Kind of perfect right here. All right. And this this, this how I really feel about it. You know, at the end of the day, if you ask me personally. All right. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing by any means shall hurt you. All right. This is going to be coming to the elect. This is going to be some of the benefits of the kingdom. We will be impervious. All right. And even here now, the, the prophets that are here now, when these end times, uh, these last couple prophecies kick in. You're going to be seeing brothers, you know, elders and apostles doing things that defy belief. All right. But 
you know, even much more so in the kingdom. Brothers are going to be manipulating elements, all right, moving at unrealistic speeds, doing all this and doing all that. We'll be able to enjoy our children, all right. You and your, your woman won't be, you and your women, all right, will not be arguing anymore. <laughs> but out, outside and beyond all of that, what's the greatest thing? Luke 10 and 20. Now, withstanding in this, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Meaning what? A. Just being accepted of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's above all that. The Yahweh Shai no longer having to sacrifice himself for you. Uh, the Heavenly Father not having to turn his back on us anymore. Him being able to actually bless us. And love us the way that he truly wants to, the way that it was originally set up. That's that's the that's the that's the big takeaway from it. That's what's going to be so brilliant about it. The heavenly Father isn't going to look down on us with such fucking disgust, you know, like currently. All right, Yahweh Shai is not going to have to keep on pleading our cause. The angels ain't going to have to keep on. Ah, oh, look, Lord. Ah, oh, shit. You know. Ah, oh, you 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 know you know he. He he just still in the flesh. He mean right, but he you know he's still in the flesh. Angels ain't gonna have to t <laughs> take our uh, prayers up for us. You know, like that one scripture says, they'll, they'll get answered right before we even finish. You know, right upon our beds, we'll finally be clean. All right, we'll finally have made Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai proud again. All right, so now let me get let me get uh, this, and I'll probably end it. Kind of right. So this is dealing with the parable of the uh, prodigal son. And I'll just start. You know, everyone's familiar with the, the one son who did everything uh, that he said. You know, and then the, the one son who went off and became wicked, but he came back. Uh, let's see. I'll start, I'll just get the end point of it. Luke 15 and 30 says, you know, for time's sake, I'm at work, I'm on break, you know. It says, but as soon as this thy son was come, which hath devoured thy living with harlots, thou hast killed for him the fatted calf. So this is the righteous brother complaining. You know, he's like, wait a minute, I've been here this whole time doing what was right. And this, this nigga, basically, <laughs> he's like, this nigga came back <laughs> after he didn't blew all his money, was freaking off on hoes, was party, was party hardy, and all this and all that, and now you... Happy you throwing a celebration for this nigga? You know, that's basically, that's basically what he was saying. All right, verse 31, and he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me, and all that I have is thine. It was meet that we should make merry and be glad, for this thy brother was dead and is alive again and was lost and is found. And that is how it's going to be for us. We was out bullcrapping, BSing, shucking and jiving, huckleberry finning, in the world, and now we'll be, we, you know, Lord willing, here soon we'll have come back, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, will we'll be accepted again. All right, because even, hey, because even these heathens, they're gonna be like, damn, that's some, man, they was Nick, they was monkeys on the block, you know, slinging dope. Uh, uh, you know, a, a lot of them can't read. You know, a lot of, you know, they, a lot of them can't speak proper English. All this and all that, but we're gonna be the ones that are accepted and regain uh, the strong, uh, basically re re regain the grip on this world. All right, why? Just because of the Heavenly Father's mercy. All right, you know, so hey, that's it for this video. Hey, make, make the most high and the son proud again. All right, that's the whole mission, shit. Hey, f hey F these people. Let them, they gon', they're going to realize that they're making the wrong decision, that they chose to be on the wrong side of the fence. All right, but for us in our house, we're going to follow Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, I don't want to write to Zah. So with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Chachorash, that wanders to the apostles and elders, great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all like Akim, Wa Akwatim, learning, teaching the truth and sincerity. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.